What's up YouTube? Murphy Farms Training here. Got an advertisement from Alien Gear about their new line called Warcat Tactical. Thought about buying an appendix holster recently anyway. Thought I'd give it a try. It's a very reasonably priced appendix holster. 18 bucks plus shipping. Um, anyway, so wanted to unbox this, show you what comes with it. Show you what you get. Show you the fit and finish. I have the Glock 26. This is my Glock Custom here. Do note that it is unloaded, okay? And take that magazine out. We do have this gun unloaded. We'll go ahead and let it slide down. Got my cool ghost ring sights on there. We'll set that to the side for now. We'll unbox this Warcat Tactical. Comes in the cool gray bag. Their shipping options are really weird. Um, some, some really weird shipping options. But anyway, that was the first thing I noticed. So we unbox this, and it comes... Here's the holster, okay? Here's the holster. And it comes with this little bag was stuck in the holster directions and that's it okay that's that's the bag so we'll set that bag to the side the first thing i noticed is i opened the instructions so it's got a picture of this holster here inside the waistband that's great and all whatever and it shows pictures of a paddle style holster adjusting the paddle okay so it's talking about adjusting the paddle to adjust the ride height um this guy here you can see three sets of holes, one, two, three, to adjust the ride height, not on the paddle, but on the appendix clip. So anyway, um, so this would go into your waistband. This is a right-handed holster, so this would go on the outside. This would go on the inside. This is the sweat guard goes against your body. First thing I want to see is just how the gun fits. So Glock 26, um, it definitely fits in there very snugly. Um, the first thing I notice when I insert this gun is there's no audible click or anything. Um, you know, it, it does go in there, but there's no audible click or anything kind of letting you know that it's in there all the way. Um, but it does go in there nicely. Um, does look like the sweat guard is hitting my ghost ring sight because this sticks up higher than normal. So I may have to trim that down to get it to seat all the way because I think it is coming up just shy of seating at the bottom. It looks like it should bottom out here. And it's stopping here. So I think I'm not getting that audible click because of my sight. That's not a knock on their gun. Or on their holster, excuse me. That That's on my gun. And if I push this guy a little further, I can see it actually goes a little deeper. So I do think that that ghost ring sight is holding it out. And I may give this a trim. We'll see. But anyway, it fits in there very snugly. I mean, it's definitely made for this gun. The, the slide fits in there like it was made for it. Okay. So let's start with what's in the bag. Let's play with this a little bit. The directions do not explain at all, at all, how to attach the claw. And I've been looking for a reasonably priced appendix holster with a claw. So it comes with this pad. It's very thick. I mean, I'll show you how thick it is, uh, just as a comparison the Glock 26. I and mean, it's almost as thick as the gun. It's got this thick pad. I have no idea what it's for. Nothing in their directions to tell you. It's got this glue dot on the back. You can obviously glue this to something. I don't know if you glue it here. I don't know if you glue it here. I don't know where you glue it. Nothing in their directions tell me that. And then, of course, it comes with a claw and a couple of extra screws. Now, we've got this short screw here, this little short screw here, and this matches the screws on your belt clip. So that's obviously an extra belt clip holster. We've got this rubber thing here, this, this spacer. So that's obviously an extra for that. Uh, and it looks like a little shorter than this one. So you could actually make this tighter. I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm not going to change that. This nut, which goes here. So you get an extra one of those. And then you get this screw. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this screw here out. This is your retention screw. And I'm going to show you why I'm taking this out. Nowhere in their directions do they tell you this, but I looked at this last night because it came in the mail yesterday, and I figured out why we've got this extra screw. Okay, so if you take this extra screw here, you lay them side by side, the extra is longer. And that longer screw allows you to put this claw on, and apparently this claw goes like so. Apparently this claw goes like this um, because it's got this extra piece here and it's drilled to go right there. And you're gonna put this longer screw in here and get it to engage the nut on the back, and that's how you install the claw on this holster. 
is that right there. Okay, so I'm going to get this started threading, hopefully. Everything's always more fun on camera. Okay, so get that a few threads deep. So there's the quote-unquote claw. And the idea is that that's supposed to push this gun inward. So I assume that's how you put the claw on. And now I can reholster the gun. Voila. So um, nowhere in the directions does it tell you how to do that. But that's how you do that. And I still don't know where this thing goes, so I'm going to wear it for a little while and see. But I assume it's going to go somewhere on the back. Um, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, um, but this will fit. It says actually stamped right on the holster, Glock 26. I'll show you so you can read it for yourself. Glock 26, Gem 1 through 5. Glock 27, Gem 1 through 4, right-handed. So it's stamped right on the holster. I do think that's kind of nice, especially if you have a lot of guns and a lot of holsters. That is the Warcat Tactical. So, uh, 1788 I think, is their introductory price. Their directions are very lacking. It talks about how to adjust ride height, and it talks about the paddle, not the belt clip. It talks about how to adjust cant, and it talks about the paddle, not the belt clip. But then on the front, it shows an appendix holster. So, I'm not really sure who on earth printed their directions, and then they do talk about how to adjust holster retention by tightening the screw. They don't talk about how to install the claw, although on included parts it does say claw, and it says wedge pad. Not really sure what a wedge pad is. Apparently that's a wedge pad, but nowhere in this little booklet do they tell what to do with it. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at with this. But that is the Warcat Tactical. Um, and honestly and truthfully, if this is all I get right here for 18 bucks, that ain't bad. Um, so they were running some promo introductory price. And I bought this for 18 bucks, And it gives me an option to carry the Glock 26 appendix. So anyway, wanted to show this, show what came in the bag. Um, it does come with an Allen wrench, which is kind of nice. I mean, I have a million Allen wrenches laying around. But if you're not a tool guy, it is nice to have... The tool come with it. I just hate it because it adds to the cost, and, and I end up paying more for holsters for tools I've already got laying around. So, but anyway, um, so when I figure out what the wedge pad does, I'll make a follow up video. But uh, I'm gonna put this in and carry it around for a little while and see how it does. Um, but you know, it's nice. It's it's uh, you know thin enough that it feels like it's got a little flex to it, which I like. But but it doesn't feel flimsy. Um, it is a one-piece shell, so it's 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 actually there's there's not a split here. This is wrapped around. It is a wrap-around one-piece shell, and the only split is on this side with the retention screw. So, uh, kind of a neat little holster. Uh, it's a pretty minimalistic design. A great way to carry a gun, I think. So, anyway, gonna give this a try and see how this claw works. See, you know, see if it keeps the grip tight against my body like I want, and uh, post a follow-up video eventually once I've worn it a while. And if anybody knows what this little pad is for or where I would attach it. Because I really think if I attach it here, that it's kind of going to make the whole gun poke out too much. Um, and I don't think you attach it here because putting a pad on the outside really just kind of defeats the purpose of it being padded. So I don't I don't know. It may be that, uh, that the pad goes at the bottom to maybe make the gun cant inward into your belly. Um, that's my only guess is that the pad goes at the bottom and the idea is that that if you've got the pad below the clip It pushes the gun pushes the top of the gun, which is what will be seen by people Inward into your belly. That's my only guess um, That's called a wedge pad, so I don't know But anyway, I'm gonna try it with just the clip and the claw see how it does. I'll make a follow-up video um, You know if you like the video give it a like subscribe, give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate the support. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks guys and have a great day.